We often hear of some of the biggest vintage resellers shopping at these things called rag houses, these sort of exclusive clubs full of vintage grails that the rest of the public doesn't ever seem to be able to get access to. Well, what if I told you that you could shop at the rag houses across the world from the comfort of your living room and handpick the items that you want to sell in your own store? Well, one company is providing that service and I'm excited to tell you all about it. Welcome people of planet earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and yes, the company providing this amazing service is called Fleek. They are a platform that connects wholesalers, rang houses, distributors from all around the country to buyers just like you. And buyers just like me because I purchased a bunch of vintage 501s uh, from Levi's that I will show you here in just a minute. But first, let me tell you a little bit more about Fleek. Fleek is a platform that does connect all of these resellers from around the country. You don't really know it, but used clothing that comes from America, Europe, wherever, gets shipped off all around the country and ends up in rag houses across the planet. Well, Fleek is providing the opportunity to connect those uh, wholesalers to you so that you can buy directly from them. You can buy in a variety of ways, whether it's a, a, a bale of generalized clothing, like a bale of 501s or a bale of vintage graphic t-shirts or sweatshirts, or you can do what I did and do a hand pick. Literally, they will open up a bale of the category that you're interested in, like in my case, it was a bunch of 501s, and you can hand pick the items that you want out of that lot. It's really awesome because of course, not everybody has maybe the same knowledge or knows exactly what you are looking for except you. So doing this is super helpful to find the exact stuff that you need. And you do this by actually having a video call with the wholesaler, whether it's in Pakistan, Italy, or the UK, you can video call and conference with them and they will show you all of their inventory and go through the stuff that you're interested in buying. Setting this up is super easy, either on the website or on the app. You can schedule a video call with one of those distributors. Maybe you've seen some of the stuff that they have and you like what they offer. Uh, or you can t contact Fleek themselves if you need some help to actually arrange uh, an appointment with somebody who has an inventory that you are looking for. And once you've selected all of the items from your hand pick, they are bundled together and shipped to you. Uh, all import costs are taken care of and shipping is always included in the price. And the prices are rather competitive, especially for the fact that you get to pick out the items that you are going to buy. And after you've picked your items and they have been shipped, it takes about two weeks for delivery and you don't have to worry about uh, any sort of import fees or anything like that because they use forwarding companies and if by chance you do fleek has got your back and will take care of you so i was impressed not just by the quality of the items that i picked up but the quantity that was available they have an enormous amount of volume uh, in their warehouse and i cannot wait to go back and purchase some more so the fleek app and website make this process super simple and super straightforward and intuitive but they also offer a really cool service called fleek credit which allows you to just put 10 percent down uh, at the time of purchase and then you have 30 days after delivery of your order to pay the remainder of the bill this is a fantastic service especially if you are a reseller trying to grow their inventory and grow their business especially certain certain times like right now it's fourth quarter this is a fantastic service to have to get that inventory in get it sold and get it paid for fleek welcomes small orders and large orders you can do 10 items or you can do a thousand items and the Fleek platform and all of their wholesalers and distributors can work with those parameters and tailor a bale or a an order specific to your uh, reselling business. So I want to thank Fleek uh, for sponsoring this video. They've been awesome to work with and they've definitely made a customer out of me. They've also been super gracious and given me a code to pass on to you to get discounts on your orders. Here it is right on the screen and you can check the link in the description below. So this service has actually been kind of a lifesaver because I'm a rural reseller. I don't live in a big city. There's not a Goodwill bins that I can go to every day. So getting inventory can sometimes be a challenge. 
But with Fleek, I have access to so much more uh, inventory that I could ever have even imagined before at good prices. And I'm really excited to see where it takes my business in the future. So personally, I got a mixture of 501 Levi's from uh, USA production and some European production. Uh, sort of a mix of 80s and 90s jeans. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stuff that I handpicked. All right. And the moment we've all been waiting for, this is the box all the way from Pakistan full of vintage Levi's that I was able to hand pick. This took about two weeks to get here, uh, which I think are a little more than two weeks, like maybe um, 16 days. Um, that's pretty good in my opinion for international shipping. Ship UPS, um, seems like they did take pretty good care of the box. Everything looks like it's intact. If you get uh, your own uh, order or bail, uh, it might be bailed up, but because I hand picked mine, uh, these are all going to be loose in the box, so we'll just pull them out sort of one by one, take a look at them, and see how we did. Again, with this deal, um, I did get a hand pick um, of the sort of B and A grades, so uh, that's kind of how uh, uh, we're, what we're expecting from these pieces. And of course, because you can't look at them super closely and super detailed because they're just online, there is some you know possibility. Um, that these were not in the condition that I was hoping for, or they appeared to be, and that's uh, just part of this, the game, to be honest, unfortunately. But the good news is that if uh, any, if like a significant portion of your order is messed up, Fleek has got your back, and they will help you out. Anyway, we're digging in here. Let's go ahead and fold this over. This looks good. This looks real good uh, so far. Like look right here, all folded real nice and neat. Uh, one that nice thing is because. Um, I did get them handpicked. They were pulled out of the bale, so they broke out of the bale and were shipped loose. And that gave us plenty of time for these jeans to, like, you know, shake out some of those wrinkles. Uh, so it should be just fine. So let's go ahead and look at the first piece here. We have the first piece. We have a 501 made in USA. Oh, this looks good. Look at that. This is kind of like a kind of an interesting gray color, um, to be honest. Um, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes what it is, but the condition looks fantastic. Uh, this particular piece looks like it's from 1991. Great condition. Actually, really impressed with the condition. It does not appear that it was hemmed or anything. 30-30, which is a pretty, uh, a pretty sellable size for me, at least. All right, and on to the next one. Let's look at this top one right here. Okay, this uh, we've got some wear out, but this is like a really light washed 501. Uh, I think pretty much all I got were 501s. This one looks pretty good. Look down here, Main USA. This one's from 93, late 93. This one looks good without any stain. It's, a, it's an easy, easy sale right here. I'm actually very happy about this. Uh, the light wash stuff, a bit harder to come by, uh, especially like this light. Um, so this is pretty impressive. This has been sitting over in a foreign country for a long time. Now it's made its way back here. Um, here we have this like black, almost kind of like, um, yes, yeah, black denim, 501, uh, patch is missing obviously, but it looks like it's clean condition. Um, this one looks like it may have been hemmed previously, that's not uncommon for vintage jeans. This one from 1998, this one was produced, uh, this is not an American made uh, Levi's, this is a European made uh, pair of 501s here. Uh, but that's all right because uh, they're still vintage and still dope looking. Um, uh, definitely a good pair there. 501. Let's see what else. Looks like we have another one that might be hemmed here. We'll skip that one. Go to here. This one first. Uh, we have a pair of 501s here. Another light wash. is a great light wash. A little bit dirty, but that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that because um, sometimes it's just part of the styling. We have a 501 made in USA. Uh, again, real nice piece. Um, I'm looking at the condition, because again, condition is one of the things you can't really get a super good feel for, but um, you have to kind of rely on their, the grades uh, that, the, um, <clears throat> that the seller uh, sort of gives it, uh, which you know can be a bit subjective. But so far, what I'm seeing here, it looks really, really good. Here we go, we have another interesting pair. This one, this really interesting feel, a little suspicious of the feel. It has been hemmed. Um, I think I remember this one. Um, we looked at a bunch of them, so it's kind of hard to say. Oh, the reason this feels weird is because it's been over-dyed black. Um, so 
Uh, that's why this one feels a little bit different. This has been over dyed and it is a, a European uh, 501. So that's one thing to note about uh, particularly when you're buying international from like uh, some of these uh, uh, rag houses is that they get they get donations and rags from all over the world. So um, it's a little bit more likely that you'll run into European uh, items that then uh, you will find as then you, more than you will find here in America. Here we have uh, some 501s, uh, 26 by 32, a uh, very small, and I believe, yeah, very small. This is definitely a B grade, in my opinion. Um, one of the B sides, we have a hole here, um, cut uh, uh, ankles, that's not uncommon for these, especially uh, if they were like a boot wear. Uh, these are, uh, yeah, probably, these, yeah, these are also uh, internationally made and from Europe, uh, but the color looks great. It's a good one. Here we go with another pair of 5.1 black, 5.1s uh, here. Um, big old tag, 1999. Another Belgium or European produced with the tag removed and the, and the, but that's sort of the common. This is kind of what you would find, honestly, in a thrift store. It's just like, in all kinds of variety of conditions, so not typically too terrible. Here's one I've been lo looking forward to. Um, we have Levi's. This is a pair of women's Levi's, I believe. Here we have on the tag. Yep. Uh, 1992, the 901s, women's 901s. Uh, this is a good little pair here. Uh, yeah, right there, 901s on the back side. Looks good. Good pair of Levi's. This is another pair probably made in uh, Europe. Uh, so then we have another pair of black denim, which has been doing really well for me lately. 501s, another European pair. Um, yep, from 98. So that uh, good point to make here, particularly about these European pairs, um, is that uh, all of the, or at least most of the sellers that I've worked with so far, uh, they're pretty aware of like the difference between American made and European made. Um, so if you strictly want your uh, American USA made stuff, uh, just make sure that's a, that's specified, and they'll they'll help you out. Um, uh, they they can read that and, and help you sort through that. We have some 501s. These are USA made as well. Really cool wash on these. You can tell these might have been sitting in a um, a bale for a while here. Uh, we have made in USA. Um, looks like we're looking at 96. Probably made USA, but also I think this is these. I think these are probably be sold. See here, you have this is what would end up being like a B or lower grade. So um, it's a little bit. That's really not that big a deal because um, people still like some of the stuff. Some of that stuff can be aesthetic, and it's fine. We have another pair of 901s, women's 901s. Here, yep, down here, made in France. This particular pair is made in France. It's pretty cool. Uh, cool color. Um, so again, a lot of European jeans here, which makes a little bit it makes sense because they're a little bit closer to to Europe. It's a little more accessible than it is to here. Uh, we have 501, another European made, uh, I believe. Yep, 1998. Well, these are all you know solid 501s, which 501s do well for me. That's one of my obviously if you're a Levi seller, it's one of your best sellers most likely. I have some 501s here. Get the tag down here, 1998. What we would expect. Blue, denim. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, 501s, again, probably late 90s. Uh, what I was noticing is this, uh, again, made in, this one's made in Europe, uh, Europe, made in 2000. Pair of 501s. What I was encountering uh, was obviously a lot of uh, vintage. Uh, uh, like late 90s stuff. Um, I would be shocked to find a whole lot of, of early and really old, old, old Levi's just because this would have to have stuck around for quite a while. Here we go, 97 again, a pair of black 501s, patch removed, but that's a good, it's a good pair made in USA. Here we go again, some busted belt loops, this is a little bit bigger, the bigger side of things, 501 XX made in USA. Uh, this is probably an old shrink to fit. Yeah, some old shrink to fit. Uh, it's got some damage. Definitely a B grade here. Um, 
So this is probably not this. I mean, so far I'm not being, I'm not super surprised. Uh, we have some light wash. This looks like a great pair here, 501s. Uh, this is a bit older, made in USA. Um, I don't know if there's a tag on this one. There is no tag on this one, but I can tell this is probably from the late 80s, early 90s. This is a beautiful pair right here. Uh, very good, exceptional pair. Uh, we have 501 again on this sort of like brown wash. Good size. Uh, down here on the tag, we can see what it looks like from 90, like 90s. Where is it? 95. Um, I don't. This was not made in USA. This is another uh, probably Belgium or Europe, uh, Levi's Europe. Um, I wasn't being too picky uh, this go around uh, to get just American made Levi's because uh, I was fairly content with 501s in general because I'd love to see um, sort of what flows in from all these different countries. Uh, so, but anyway, here's our last pair. Uh, 501, this is a bit older. This might be one of the more older, oldest ones here. Uh, yeah, we have a pair from 1988. 34, 30, uh, 30, but you know, pretty nice hole there, uh, which is actually aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. Uh, this is a dope pair of 501s here to finish this off. And that was, that was it. I was, pr I'm plenty happy uh, so far with what we got here. Again, we paid $20 per pair. Um, that may be a little bit high, uh, depending on uh, how many of these uh, the grade, uh, but that's why you want to work and not be afraid to work uh, with your picker to just like go over them and, and make sure that you're comfortable with everything you're buying. Uh, because obviously once it gets over here, that's quite a bit of money to spend. Um, if you're um, ordering it internationally, it's not easy to return obviously. But um, but again, I know that Fleek's got your back and I'm really happy with this haul of 501s. A lot of good varieties here, a lot of good sizes and a lot of good ages. So uh, this is dope super dope so if you want to try it out check it out in the link in the description below remember that we have the, the code to get a discount uh, for your first order um, i think you'll be pleasantly surprised especially if you need to do some more volume in your uh in your e uh, your ebay store your depop store or your brick and mortar uh, i don't think you can go wrong with uh, this type of volume and a pretty good price all around. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this service can be of help to you and your business. Uh, check out the, uh, the discount code and then the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.